नमस्कार वेलकम टू दी फोर्थ सेशन वेलकम टू माई चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब वी आर हियर टू लर्न टिंकर कैड एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सी द वेरीफिकेशन ऑफ द किश ऑफ लॉ ऑन द टिंकर कैड सिस्टम ओके सो लेट एस प्रोसीड नाउ वी विल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल क्रिएट अ सर्किट first of all we create a circuit here and we can see the working area this is the working area and this is the these are the components which are available so for the verification of the kirchhoff law we will first of all introduce the multimeter the multimeter can measure various things number one it can measure the voltage it can measure the current flowing through the circuit and it can also measure the resistance so we will first of all add the multimeter and we'll see how it, it looks like Okay, if we can zoom in, we'll just zoom in here, and you can see this is a positive terminal and the negative terminal. Here is the multimeter. Okay, so we'll zoom out from here. Next, what we do is we will bring in a battery. Okay, so the battery is here, and we can, as we can see here. Now, if you look at the battery very carefully, it says that the negative terminal is on the top and the positive terminal is at the bottom. uh we would like the other way round so it is very much possible to swap this we just horizontally swap this and therefore we have the positive terminal close to the proper positive terminal here uh to in order to have the circuit uh, in a safe way what we'll do is we'll try to bring in a resistor so let us bring in a resistance resistance okay so we'll just bring in resistor here and we'll connect it so we have connected the resistor to the positive terminal of the multimeter also we'll configure the multimeter to measure the current in the circuit so we'll say ampere h and then we will connect the positive terminal of the battery to the resistor so positive terminal of the battery connected to the resistor here and then from the negative terminal of this multimeter we will connect it to the negative terminal of the battery okay so it's very simple we done all right so in one so this resistance is you can see it's 1 kilo ohm this is 9 volt battery and there will be certain current flowing through the circuit and you can see here it is flowing through the circuit and the measurement of the current is made by the multimeter we can try to see the changing we can change the uh, resistance here so we'll just say 0.5 kilo ohm or 500 ohms that is and we can start the simulation and the current has doubled as you can see okay so in order to verify the kirchhoff law we will use uh, three multimeters and three resistances uh, in addition to these uh, whatever is there in the uh, working area currently so we'll shift it on this side we'll remove all these uh, extra things so we'll create three multimeters okay so this is one and another one okay we we'll another one here and we'll put another one okay we we'll can put another one here okay so let us move it to that side okay and then we'll add some resistances also okay we have put this resistance here but we will want it the resistance to be in the horizontal way just to make the space more usable okay so we have put this one here and we'll take another resistance so you see if we want to really copy just press control c and control v is it, it will work it just a copying business which opens so we control c and control v we do that and it is connected so all the multimeters are now set to measuring these current ampere as you can see the highlight is on ampere the highlight is on ampere here and all the resistances are 1 kilo ohm right now or 0.5 kilo ohm here right now because we have copied it from here so we can set it to 1 kilo ohm uh, like this and we will set it to 1 kilo ohm everyone will set it to 1 kilo ohm right now for the sake of understanding okay okay then we'll later change the uh, cos we change the resistances to see if the kirchhoff laws are still valid okay So from the negative terminal, we'll connect this negative terminal from here to this particular positive terminal, and then okay, fine. So we'll just go there, and we are able to connect 
from here to here and then we can also make it beautiful no problem there you are again we are going to connect from here and to the negative terminal as you can see we have connected this one and again from here we have connected this to the negative terminal right because the idea is to make it in a completely beautiful manner so that the circuits are well arranged so therefore now from the other side what we'll do we'll connect the negative terminal from here to the negative terminal of the battery okay so we'll just make enough space so that the other circuits are also there so negative terminal of the battery we have done that and uh, we'll just make it you know beautiful that way and from here negative terminal of this particular multimeter to the negative terminal of the battery obviously so we'll go like this and we'll go like this and then we'll connect it to the negative terminal of the battery here and again from here we'll go here go here and we'll go here we'll come here and we'll connect it to the negative terminal of the battery so we have made all the connections and we are now going to see how things happen we we'll start the simulation you can see here the current flowing is 10.8 milliampere which is outside the parallel system so and then 10.8 milliampere so we can see if we if we just sum up these numbers we'll get about 10.7 all right because 9 triple here is 27 10.7 so there is a numerical approximation so there's a numerical approximation error so we can see because all the resistances are the same we will have the same current flowing all over uh, okay we'll for the for the sake of uh, explanation we'll try to do the changing here we'll just put it as 0.2 kilo ohm here and we will try say 0.6 kilo ohm here and we'll try and say which is a 0.3 kilo ohm here okay we'll just do that and let us try to see the same thing happens all right so 15 milliampere is flowing here and we'll have got the same number as you can see if you just uh, sum up all these numbers we'll get somewhat somewhat less but the numerical computation is causing the problem otherwise we sum of the numbers the number is very similar to 15.0 thank you for attending this video if you have liked this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for attending